So let's, let's bake make fruit cake. Fruit cake. Okay. Uh, now th this is the fruit cake. That is what it looks okay. like when it's all done. So a round cake. I've never made a, a fruit cake that looks like that. It looks almost like a chocolate tort, yeah, doesn't it? it does. It so, does. So the first thing we have to do is we have to soak the fruit for two weeks. So you have okay. to start this ahead. So if all of you out there want to make this cake for um, Christmas, forget it. Yeah, <laughs> next year. Next year, folks. Make it for next year. <laughs> no, you or can. make it for a party in January. Or you know what? You can, I can, I'm going to give you a cheater's way to do it. I'm going to tell you what you can. You can heat it up, right? You can heat it up. Yeah, heat the what, fruit. What the, um, basically, what you're doing is you're soaking the fruit in booze for two weeks, stirring it every day, and what happens is the fruit absorbs it okay. and breaks down. We're not telling people. Okay, and I'm, one I'm sorry, pound one of pound dried of currants. currants. Right, a pound of currants, a pound of prunes. prunes. We've got a pound of raisins. And you can okay. really mix up the fruit. Martha, do you mind putting the cherries in for me? I do not. Thank you. We've got a pound of cherries. A pound of dried cherries. And um, and then just to add a little bit of extra spice, this is candied ginger, which oh, I just love. I love too. And candied orange and lemon peel. Now where do you get all your fruit? Oh God, Economy Candy is a great place in New York City. You can mail order this stuff. Um, you can get most of it at the supermarket, especially right before the holidays. Starting in November, they start getting in those candied citrus peels. So one bottle of Myers rum you, and one bottle of... This is ruby port. Ruby port. But you can also use, you know, what is traditional to use, this is a Caribbean recipe, and the traditional thing to use is actually Manischewitz Passover wine. Oh, yeah, sweet wine. Sweet wine, and but ruby port has a very similar oh, flavor. Oh, it smells yeah. so good. Oh. And it has a similar mm. flavor, and it's actually easier to find, especially if it's not Passover, it which if you're doing really this in November. Good. So okay, let this, you can just give that a stir. Okay. And what we're going to do put is put this in the fridge. No, you just oh. because the alcohol preserves it. You okay. just put actually, you just put it anywhere out of the way. Okay. And dark, every, cool place, covered, so that yes. the cats don't right. have a little feast. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks, you stir it every day, and that's what it looks like at the end. You see, it's absorbed all of the the, um, the liquor. So you grind it in here yeah. with. First, we're going to grind some almonds. Okay. Okay. And if. We're just going to get those nice and fine. Do that separately. You want to get them ground up first yeah. because if you add the fruit, it's Is not the... going to grind right. fine enough. So right. you can just grind it. I know. I hate that noise. I know. <laughs> it's the only time I'll, I'll wear. Do you wear those? When you... That's smart. No. I, and I, and you know, my iPod. It's the only time I'll wear it. My daughter does that. <laughs> Okay, okay, so perfect. they're fine enough, right? Exactly. It's okay. a, if you see, it's like almond flour. And okay. then we're going to add a little of that. As you can see, all of it's not going to fit at once. So just okay. add a couple of spoonfuls at a time. Mm. We're going to grind it up, make it into a paste. Okay. And then when that's done, you're going to end up with basically this rich, boozy so, No, it's amazing. Paste. So you're almost, in, in, you're almost a plum pudding there. Exactly. And, you know, just imagine, okay. this no, is a well, very... Make, make believe I've ground that. Yeah, and okay. this is what it looks like. I mean, imagine when people had to do this by hand. This is, we, we have chop, it easy. Chop, yeah, chop. chop, chop, chop. Oh, yeah. Okay, so in the mixer, so we've got that. That is the base of our cake. We're going to make the egg and butter mixture. Is that good? Really is good. That, I know. Yeah. You could just eat that and you'd be happy. If you mm. were done, that'd mm. be fine. So what's in here? Okay, oh, sorry. So we've got a pound of butter and we've got um, brown sugar, lots of dark brown sugar. We're going to cream it. And then what I'm going to do is add a tablespoon of vanilla extract. So it's one pound of butter, two and a half cups of dark brown, dark brown sugar. sugar. The recipe for this cake is in the book, but it's also on our website at MarthaStewart.com. So um, I suggest I suggest putting that fruit to to soak now. Yeah, actually, you know what? You could, I am. You gonna, could put it to soak now, and you could do it next year. It'll yeah. actually last that long because oh, yeah. the alcohol will preserve it. Okay, I'm going to add the eggs one at a time. I love how they're all cracked for me. Just going to increase the speed a bit. Mm, there yummy. we go. So we have four cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, and if you can add the spices yep. and whisk okay. them in, that's cinnamon. That's a teaspoon of cinnamon, a I'm quarter gonna, of a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to add a lot of nutmeg here. Okay, and uh, lots of nutmeg, yes, right? Yes, we love nutmeg. Nutmeg smells and, so good when you grate oh, it. Oh, four teaspoons of baking powder. You need a lot because it's a dense cake, yeah. so you want it to rise. This is about half a teaspoon that I'm doing, and of course I can eye it. You can eyeball, okay. all, eyeball this, right? Well, half a teaspoon is one of those. Is an entire one? Oh yeah. God. Okay, I better go faster. Yeah, okay. don't don't get your fingers. Right. It's better to do it this way. All right, I'm going to let you do it. Okay. So <laughs> well, that, we got the idea, that right? smells good, yeah. And now we just bring this over here. And what we're going to do is, if you can fold that, I'm just going to yeah. We're gonna add this and in. And this is the egg mixture. That's what we were doing before in the mixer. That's just eggs and butter and brown sugar mm. and vanilla. Okay. Okay. And you're now gonna add the fruit little add the by fruit little. Fruit little by little. What's great about this fruit cake is you can bake it in any size pan. So if you want to do lots of little ones, you can give it away as gifts. Yeah, and you know those paper baking uh, those pans are, great. are so great. Those are great. You don't have to take it out of the pan. Right. They have corrugated um, uh, paper that you can bake in, and it's very oops, oops sorry very about pretty. That. Let's get all of this in. Okay. And you can see that the batter is 
It's thick and it's very rich. What about the molasses? Rich. We're going to add molasses to yep. this. Now, how molasses come molasses? Too. Because it's Caribbean? Well, because, because it's Caribbean also, but also, you know in a fruitcake you want that sticky sort of gingerbread texture? Yes. So that's what the molasses gives it that. Okay, here's your little. And oh, one thing we forgot to do, I'm so sorry, Martha, do you mind mixing that boiling water into the cocoa? That is oh, cocoa powder. Okay. And the cocoa powder adds a little bit of a bitter flavor. It takes the sweetness of the fruit down. It doesn't actually taste like chocolate. It just kind of tastes okay, yeah, we were a little complex. That I would never add the cocoa. Yeah, which, and you know what, you can skip it, but it's just gonna be a little <laughs> bit uh, sweeter, which if you like sweet, all right. Okay. But you tasted it and you didn't really taste chocolate, right? You just tasted the complexity of the fruit. I haven't so. tasted it. Are you having it? No. Oh, just wait. Okay, just, well, you'll tell me. I wait. You, I wait you like with to be surprised. Yes. That's nice. I want the author to be here with me. <laughs> so I can. Well, I taste. Have you ever had something that you didn't like? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do here is two eight inch. Um, two eight inch rounds, oh, okay. okay, and then two eight inch loaf pans as oh, well. This is very heavy it's and heavy very batter. beautiful. Oh, it's a beautiful, I, I want to make sure it's all mixed. Yeah, exactly. You don't want yeah. it, you see the streaky bits? When you yeah. when those are gone, you yeah. know it's You don't want those streaky bits. Right. Okay, so, okay. so make believe we put it all in so those pans. So we put it in these pans. Um, How do you bake it, in water or? No, but you do it really low, 250 oh, okay. for almost three hours. You okay. know it's ready when it's set and then a, you'll see a tester will come out without any crumbs okay. and then you know it's ready. So this is, it's not quite, not quite done. Yeah, I it do take, not you know want, what, it's a very big yeah, batch. It's it going to take a while. while. But you guys mm. know how to do the rest of it, right? Just mm. keep going until so you good. see it's done. And then this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oh, oven. Oh, what about the cheesecloth? How did you get that? That is after. Oh, Let me okay. show you about that. So when it's done, you get this. Before you take it out of the pan, when it's still hot, you want to add, you want to brush mm. it with rum, and then you mm. do it again. This is more rum. Rum or cognac? Rum. Okay, rum. This is, you could use cognac, actually. I've never done it, but... Mm. And then after you... I do it once with rum, once what? with cognac. And just whatever. <laughs> and you do this. And if you make it now for next year, you it's do that once a month. You have to, you have to brush it with its, Otherwise it'll with dry its out. drink. Yeah. Right. And then when, it, when you brush it, then you wrap it in cheesecloth. Okay. You wrap it in foil. And then this is what it looks like. And then this is the hard part. Mm. You wrap it in cheesecloth. You wrap it in foil. And then you put it in your closet and let it sit for three like days. Dark and cool. Dark and cool. You don't, at don't least Don't get it days. hot. Don't, just yeah. don't get it hot. Right. Um, it will last for months. Should we cut that one? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, yes. As a final, you want to just do a little powdered sugar right mm. on top. How beautiful. And then make, okay, now I'm nervous because she's going to, I'm not going to know if she doesn't like it. How will I know? I will like it. I love <laughs> fruitcake. I love plum pudding. Okay. I love this kind. Oh, that's big. Is that too big? Oh, gosh, yes. Okay, okay. I'm going to give you a little baby Tiny. slice. It's, it's true. Very it's very rich. rich. And, and um, in, in the stately homes, they would give you a little thin it's slice. It's true. It's you know. true. I'm, I'm just doing it from the Brooklyn home where we like to give right. big, portions. <laughs> big portions. Okay. So watch her face, folks. Let's see if she's telling okay. the truth. Mm. <laughs> really good. Oh, yay. Oh, good. First taste, just delicious. Do you and taste the cocoa or no? Yes. You do? Okay. No. <laughs>